Today we're going to go over proper disposal of resin, as well as how to save our alcohol after we use it to wash our parts. So we have this mess, not this mess, this mess of alcohol that has a bunch of resin in it, which has that cloudy look to it. And so we want to turn it into this really clear, nice alcohol. There's a little bit of cured resin bits in the bottom. Sure, we could just add more new alcohol to it, but we don't want to do that because we're just going to use it to clean more prints. So it doesn't have to be completely clean. We're going to use my UV curing station that I made with a plastic tub and some UV lights that I put in the side as well as in the top for a good all-around cure. UV resin is considered hazardous waste unless it is cured. So for the disposal of resin, we need to make sure it's cured first. So my thought is, why not just cure the resin that's in this alcohol? and then filter out that resin and reuse the alcohol. You will probably want a thinner filter, but that's all I have. It's just for filtering the resin, which is a more viscous substance than alcohol, of course, but we'll try it anyway. So I'm going to put in my used alcohol and then I'm going to let it cure for 20 minutes to a couple of hours, just depending. And while that cures, we'll go ahead and take care of my many empty bottles of resin. Now I have these little containers for condiments that I use to store my resin after I use it in the vat. And I will also be using those same containers to pour the excess from the empty bottles into to then cure before throwing away. And the containers with the white lids are what we will use to filter our alcohol. I'm going to dump out the excess resin into this container. And once I can get as much of the resin out of it as possible, I will wipe it off and then I will take that excess resin and I will cure it so that I can dispose of it later and then I will use some alcohol to clean out the inside of the bottle. And I'm actually just using some of the alcohol that I've used before. It doesn't have to be clean. And then I will swish it around while spinning it to make sure that I get all of the sides. And then I'm just going to pour that into some cups so that we can use for our other experiment of filtering the alcohol. And just to be thorough, once my bottle is cleaned out, I will use a UV light to cure whatever might be left in the inside of that bottle for several minutes, or I'll go put it out in the sun later. And then I will recycle or dispose of that bottle. And after our resin has cured, we'll go ahead and pop it out of our plastic cup and then dispose of that, and then we can use our cup to clean out some more bottles later. I should note that I do this with all resins, even the water washable resins. Clean the bottle with alcohol and cure the resin before then just throwing it away. And now moving on to renewing our alcohol. After it has been cured for at least an hour, it turns into this pudding sludge goop, whatever you want to call it. So then I put in my filter, and I'm going to carefully try to pour that goop into the filter and let it slowly leak down in there, because my filter is pretty big. If I let it splash, which I'll show you later, any of that uncured resin is going to also filter back into it and make it cloudy again, which isn't that big of a deal. Usually you would just let your alcohol sit for a while, pour the good stuff off the top, and then do this process to the cloudy stuff that's left in the bottom. It's a very weird substance. It kind of reminds me of flan from Spanish class. In the long run, any of the containers that you use are going to end up being pretty nasty, so I'm going to try to keep it limited to these three containers, and then just wipe them out when I'm done. This one doesn't have to be pristine because I'm just going to pour the alcohol back into it and wash more resin prints. It seems like it's doing a well enough job filtering that I'm just going to let it sit for a long time and ever so slowly filter out. And then we'll move on to the alcohol that we use to clean out our resin bottles. And when I go to pour this in, it doesn't quite release from the sides of the cup and it ends up just splashing through the middle and making that cloudy mess that I was telling you about before. But that's okay because we'll just go through this whole process all over again.
There is something slightly satisfying about watching this weird goop just fall out of these cups into the filter. Now we just hurry up and wait. And after a few hours, it will filter out and we'll be left with our little pudding stuff that we'll just put into the UV light again and cure it some more before throwing away. But the good alcohol that we have, we're just going to take it and pour it back into our container to use again. Thank you patrons for helping make my videos possible. You are all super awesome heroes. If you would like to also show your support, please go to patreon.com forward slash geek happens and become a patron and gain access to my 3D models and discounts at my store, 3dmtabletop.com, where you can purchase handmade dice, dice cases, miniatures, and more. I hope this video was helpful to you or at least gave you some good ideas. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now go get your resin messes cleaned up. <laughs>